This is a dual disk drive from Epson. I'm going full Ashen style here. I uh, poke myself in the eye in the shower and it doesn't look good, so we're doing it this way. Um, this thing has uh, two disk drives. It's got the smaller floppy and the larger floppy. This one is 3.5 inch. This is 5.25 inch. And it uses one connector in the back. And this is the SD800. And the bigger one is SD700. Together, they make the SD880. Now, I can't, I could not find a whole lot of info on this thing online. I did find a little bit, and I'll put a link in the description as far as the jumpers, um, how to set them. I had some trouble. It took me quite a while to actually set this up. And once I did, I realized that wasn't all that hard. Um, if you're using a newer computer, you might have to go into your BIOS and enable um, floppy support. Could be under legacy or you just got to poke around. Um, some BIOSes will allow for dual floppies. Mine does not. So I had to use the jumper settings in the back, which I'm going to show you. Now I'll put a link in the description um, to all the jumper settings in the top. You don't really have to worry about those. Those are for like speed settings and whatnot. The one you want to worry about is the bottom one right there. There's A and B. There's three pins. Uh, to put it on A, you have to have it in the first and second pin connects those. For B, it's the second and third. Now, because I'm only able to use one floppy, it only controls and uses one of those on my computer. I had to figure out how to how to get this going. Um, so we've got a cable right here, and if you notice that the connector there isn't the standard floppy. It's this one that has this little bridge right here. So these don't fit. Now with the jumper settings, what I have is I have it set to, oh, it's upside down there. I've got it set to B. Let's see if it'll zoom in on that. No, not very well. Anyway, I've got it set to B, which is the second and third. And what that does is that controls the bottom one, lets you read it. So I would have, I got this plugged in after, if it's after the flex is twisted, if the cable is twisted and it's in the B position, then you will control this one. You'll be able to use the bottom, but the top will be dead to you. Unless your BIOS allows you to use two, then you have to mess around with the settings. Mine doesn't, so I can't show you on how to use that. So if you have the jumper in the B position, and after the twist, you'll be able to use the bottom drive. Now, if you have it before the twist, so you got the motherboard, you pop this on, then it will use the top one if it's set to B. And the opposite is true. So if you want to use the smaller floppy, and you're, uh, this is far away from your motherboard, so you, you can't use this one. So if you want to use the top one, plug this one in, and then set the jumper to A. But if you do have a short one, or you just want to use that one for whatever reason, you can plug that in and it has to be set to B. So again, uh, post-twist for B setting will control the bottom. Uh, for the A setting on the jumper, it will control the top. Now the pre-twist, it will control the bottom if it's on A and the top on B. So... Yeah, that's, that took me quite a while to, to figure out. Um, when I first got it, I plugged it in. It wouldn't work at all. It's because I had it disabled in my BIOS. It just wouldn't recognize it. So I'm going to get this installed and uh, show you what it does. It obviously reads disks. Um, I don't know why I said that. There it is. Along with my light scribe drive. Um, this is a fairly old computer. So uh, forgive the noise. I need to get some new fans. I cleaned them out the other day. And they sound a lot better, but uh, they're still... Uh, they're a little loud. At least they're not grinding anymore. I used to have one of these drives a long time ago, and it broke uh, when I was a kid, and finally came across one in person. Didn't want to buy one online because, I don't know, I just didn't feel like doing that. But I do have something to test it with, and that is Gremlins 2, the new batch. Hordes of gremlins have infested the clamp center. It's up to you and Gizmo to rid the building of these uninvited guests. Well, I will start that process, but I don't think I'm going to finish it. There's my uh, mess up here. What's interesting about this is uh, it says contains 3.5 inch media and it uh, in fact did not. So it may have at one time, but I don't know, it's got the bigger floppy. So 
pop it in. And I am actually running Windows 7 here. We'll go click on A. You can see it's reading. Now, all those other uh, jumpers that I didn't really talk about, those are for different speed settings and whatnot. I'll put a link in the description um, to those, and I might even put it in the description. So I've got all of them here. It does actually read. This is Gremlins. Um, try to run it. I cannot run it because it is not compatible. However, I did copy the files over to uh, a folder, and... They're in C games, I think. I'm sure that it did fact and work. Bear with me a sec. Loading this up. And I can't run OBD on this computer. This is painfully slow. They've got two gigs of RAM and it's maxed out. So you only really do one thing at a time. OBD would, uh, or ODB. That, I don't know why that's escaping me. It, uh, it would not run if I tried to make it, it would just slow down. Okay, oh, oh. let's go to C. Got it in a gremlins folder. All right, now let's type in gremlins. There we have it. So the uh, the files were not corrupted. Oh man, I'll turn that. There we go, that's much better. Sorry for my shaky hand. I'm trying to doing this with a different camera, seeing if it'll work. If it works, then I'll do another one. If not, then I'll go back to my old camera. It's kind of washed out. I don't have any sound on or anything, but there we go. The drive does, in fact, work. Um, the reason I made this video is to show the uh, basically the, the jumper settings, the A and the B. Was that that confused the hell out of me when I first got this thing and tried to tried to hook it up? I just could not get it to work right. So, all right, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, like I said, to the other jumping settings. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to see more of my ramblings and press thumbs down if I suck. Thank you, please.